Brighton, Colorado just may be the best city in the entire Denver metro area for you to live in. And in today's video, we're gonna be discussing why. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Mitch Mahaffey, your favorite redhead realtor. And like I just said, in today's video, we're going to be discussing all the reasons why living in Brighton may be the best move for you. Now to kick this off, we're gonna start by giving some context as to where Brighton is and what Brighton is like, because it's definitely not the most well-known city in the Denver metro area. So Brighton, Colorado sits about 35 minutes northeast of downtown Denver via direct highway access. It's probably the most northernmost, <laughs> probably the most northernmost city in the entire Denver metro area and is considered the gateway to the Denver metro area for everybody that calls Northern Colorado home. Now, Brighton's layout makes it so that Brighton's city limits are framed by two different highways. So it's incredibly easy to commute or travel just about anywhere in the state, north, south, and east-west as there are major roads that connect with other highway systems that run east-west through the city and the state. Along with that, Brighton's only about 20-ish, 20-25 minutes given traffic, weather conditions, you know all the stuff that goes into calculated commute, about 20 minutes or so away from Denver International Airport. So commuting out of state is also very easy to do from Brighton, Colorado. Now the city of Brighton itself is very proud of its diverse community and its agricultural heritage. Not too long ago, Brighton was just a small farm town in the middle of nowhere on the outskirts of civilization, if you will. Now the city has grown a ton over the past 10 to 15 years and Brighton today does not even resemble the Brighton that used to be here 15, 20 years ago. Now, let's dive into some of those reasons why Brighton is such a great place to live. Now, first and foremost, suburban life is going to offer a much slower pace in day-to-day -day living than living in a big city like downtown Denver would provide. And frankly, that is one of the biggest draws to Brighton is because not only is it still suburban enough to have all of the major big city, big town amenities that you could want, you also get that relaxed, laid back, much slower pace of life that comes with living in a suburban city. On top of that, Brighton itself has just this really cool feel about it. it there's a lot of actual farmland still within Brighton that are designated historical zones because they were part of the original founding farms when Brighton was established in the late 1800s. So you're you're as you're driving down the streets of brighton it doesn't feel like you are completely just claustrophobic there's houses there's buildings everywhere brighton's the exact opposite now that agricultural heritage is still very strong in brighton and there still are a lot of multi-generational owned farms and agricultural businesses in the brighton area within you know i'd say a 10 to 15 minute drive east of actual downtown the city of Brighton. So on that note, it's it's not uncommon to get stuck in traffic behind a tractor or a, a dually big truck hauling cattle. Uh, and there's a lot of events that the city of Brighton hosts that are all surrounded around this agricultural, that agricultural heritage theme. Now Brighton's growth has happened at various different decades throughout history and it's really cool to see as you're driving through and it almost gives Brighton a, a feeling of there being multiple cities in one. Now one of the things that we really hammer home when you call us to discuss your home search when you know moving to Brighton or the Denver metro area is really pinpointing what neighborhood and what part of town you should consider moving to. No part of town is objectively better or worse than others. They just serve different purposes and different lifestyles and offer different style of houses and different sizes of houses as well. So like I said, one of the things we'll do is really figure out what part of town is the best part for you to be in. If you're somebody that likes more mature neighborhoods with bigger trees, more mature landscaping, and that older style almost of housing, if you will, then Brighton has a ton of that to offer. If you're somebody that likes new development, you wanna buy a new construction home, well, there is a ton of that going on as well. And we'll be covering that on the channel in later videos. On top of that, there's also houses from the early 2000s and 2010s from here. So you'll, as you're driving through Brighton, you can see all of the different stages that the city has developed and it provides a really neat feeling. Now say you're somebody that doesn't wanna live in town. You don't wanna live in a suburban neighborhood. 
Well, Brighton's a great place to do so as well, as you can still buy property on acreage. I've seen lots of acres up to the hundreds for sale just outside of town. So you're able to buy a house, run, have land, run horses, run cows, run livestock, you know, put the kids in 4-H, do all of those things and really enjoy the benefits of living in the country uh, without being so isolated that day-to-day -day life is a chore in itself. All of those properties that we just discussed are within a 10 to 20 minute drive to things like the gas station, grocery store, shopping centers, and schools as well. So you can enjoy already a slower pace of life, find yourself some acreage, raise the kids around farm animals, or buy yourself some farm animals and enjoy that lifestyle as well. Now we mentioned earlier that Brighton was only about 30 to 35 minutes away from downtown Denver, and this is something I also wanted to discuss. Brighton is far enough away from the big city and the big metro area to where you're not gonna pay the traditional cost of living premium to live here, but you're still close enough to all of the big activities and big things to do in the big city. So it's a really good middle ground. If you want to be able to go out and do all of these things and enjoy all that the big city has to offer, but you don't necessarily wanna to have to pay for it, frankly, Brighton's a great spot to land because you can get the best of both worlds still. Now this one may be a little speculative, but it is a big part of the reason why I just bought a home in Brighton. And it's because of all of the future growth that is planning or being planned on happening in Brighton. There is new houses going up, there's new shops being put in, there's new businesses moving into the Brighton area daily, it feels like. I know it's not quite that fast, but it feels like every day there's something new coming to Brighton, moving to Brighton. We're getting a ton of growth at Prairie Center, which is Brighton's big shopping center. We're getting a ton of new people moving here every year, and we're getting a ton of new houses built as well. So if you buy, of course, you buy early as the city continues to grow and things get more and more expensive, well, that just means more equity in your pocket. Again, a little speculative. You should never buy a home just for appreciation. You can call that gambling, but it is a big factor when considering moving somewhere. All right, now another reason why living in Brighton is so great. The city has a very, very strong sense of community and is actually very, very welcoming to newcomers. Brighton is not a city to live in if you wanna stay anonymous. You're gonna meet your neighbors. There's gonna to be tons of events to go to, to enjoy for both yourself and for your family that the city hosts throughout the year. It's a great way to get out, meet new people, meet your neighbors, make new friends. Like I said, very, very strong sense of community within Brighton and very, very welcoming to new residents. So if you're somebody that values any of those things that we just discussed, then Brighton, Colorado would be an amazing place for you to call home. Now, as you continue to do more research, make sure you subscribe to the channel because we've got new videos coming at you every single week. And to further help your research, we've got more videos popping up on the screen right now to make it that much easier for you. Once again, my name is Mitch Mahaffey, your favorite redheaded realtor. See you guys in the next one.